chest and your head up a little bit from the bottom there and go from there. This isn't bad, but you're deadlifting a lot of the way that I deadlift, yeah. which is not very efficient. A lot of your body is, is bent over the bar and you want to try to get yourself down into a low, like that, yeah. there you go, yep. That little thing that you just did will make the biggest difference, yeah. That's the difference between like four plates and five plates. Yeah, he, he had that, that chin down position. Yeah. He had this very distinct, they didn't right. learn it, they just found that position. Right. You have a problem with that. Do you want the chin neutral? Where do you like your chin set? Oh, I, I like a lot of times I just want to make sure that people can get their chest up somehow. Okay. So if that means they have to pick their chin up, then that's okay too. Okay, um, stop for a second. Just uh, back off the bar just a few inches. Bring your feet in closer together. There you go, and, and now your grip is gonna be in a little bit closer as well. And go ahead and get in bottom position. Pull yourself into position and go from there. Good. I would still like to see, actually you got some great leverages for deadlifting. I like these leverages. Yeah, 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 you got great, great leverages for deadlifting. Go ahead and put the bar down for a second. Let's see if we can just work on getting the hips a little lower. You're probably gonna always deadlift with your hips a little high because it suits your leverages pretty well, but let's see if we can get you a little lower. Just had the, uh, your microphone's on for the live stream moving forward from now on. Okay, cool. Good speed. I like it. Now this guy's pulling sumo style. We're not gonna talk to him, okay? He can go outside the parking lot. He's, he's cheating. He, he's, he's cheating. Get out. Oh. <laughs> um, I never pulled sumo. I he go ahead and give it another go. Let's watch this guy again here. This guy's good. Yeah, there we go. That's better. I would just take a little bit longer at the bottom and get your legs into it still a little bit more. So just give yourself a, an extra half second. Kind of like that. Yeah, there you go. Okay, you can stop again. Kind of last thing is we need to drive the knees forward. Your knees are straight up and down, and it's not allowing you to really squat down because your knees are like this, and so your butt has nowhere else to go. Guy, you want the knee forward, the hips thing. down. The thing here is, so back away from the bar a little bit more again. Back, back for, get, get it further away from the bar. Drive the knees forward. Yeah, there we go, good. Yep, that's it. That's the difference. That's it right there, one more. That's, that's looking really good. Now that position might take you a little while to learn. You might be like, Jesus Christ, Mark Bell's an idiot. This is way heavier than, than it used to feel. So it might take you a, a few weeks to get that tightness, but that looked awesome. Yeah, great job. Good patience too. It's like kind of hard when someone keeps telling you you're fucking up. But good patience, good way to stick with it. There you go. You can get the back flat. You know hips are fairly low. I would just maybe bring your feet a little closer together. Yeah, try that. It's just a small change, but that should make a big difference. Yeah, there you go. Good. Looking great. Good work. Good, go ahead and put the bar down for a second. Uh, you're going to want to bring your stance in a little closer together. And we want the knees to travel forward a little bit in a conventional pull. There you go, that's a little better. And go ahead and uh, shove your knees uh, outward against like your arms a little bit. Yeah. Good, and last piece of the puzzle, we just need to get the back a little bit flatter. Go ahead and bring your stance in even a tiny bit closer. Uh, back away from the bar. There you go, you're good right there. Yep. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, you see how easy it came off? Like that flew off the ground. I mean, I know it's 135, but that looked like you had good leverage. Yeah, great job. There we go, he's getting a good sumo position. There you go. He normally pulls conventional, it yep. seems. But obviously with his physique, we think right away, let's, let's, look, at, let's look at sumo. Yep, Th that's, that's looking pretty goes. good. I would just okay. keep, just try to keep the, the bar on this side a little closer to the legs. Okay. Now, have you tried sumo and didn't like it? I or have you tried it when I first started lifting like in February? It'd be good to incorporate it here and there, probably. 
Okay, at your gym, you have guys that pull sumo that are good? Oh, there we go. Okay, this is a textbook sumo. It's looking pretty good. You stop for a second. You got a really great setup. Your back is flat. You're using your legs. It looks like you know how to get yourself tight. It does look like, though, that you could get under the bar more. And so what I mean by that is use the bar to pull yourself in position and take your time and try to lower your hips a little bit more. Wiggle into it just a little bit more, trying to get the chest up and the lats engaged a little bit more. So just take a little bit longer at the bottom to get yourself in good position and then fire out of there. Go ahead, give it a shot. Use that bar, give yourself an extra second, pull yourself in, good. Now just stop again, go ahead and put the bar down. The only problem is the shins are straight up and down and I, it's my belief that you have to shove the knees forward a little bit. So back away from the bar a little bit, maybe get a little closer again. About right there is probably decent. And let's see if we can have the knees be forward uh, of the barbell when you pull. Yeah, I'm liking that. Yeah, good, good. Now stop again and, and put a lot of oomph into it. Let's give it, let's give it health. Give it a good, strong, fast pull. There we go, there we go, yep. 100%, that's it. That's it, man, that was great. Really good. Once you get it down, you'll get like a rhythm and you'll kind of bend down and kind of go all at once. You get out of here. Hey, lady, what was your name again? Good, let's stop for just a second. Um, it looks like that stance suits you pretty well, but let's try something a little different. Let's bring your stance in a little closer. And then because your stance is in closer, your arms might be a little closer together, so let's give that a shot. There you go, push off with your heels. It's a leg press, trying to push the floor away from you. Yeah. Good, go ahead and let your arms relax a little bit. You're, you're pulling with your traps. Yeah. One more, stay right here, arms relaxed. Yeah, 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 there we go, there we go, yep, good. Nice long arms. That's looking great. Back is flat. She's taking over the seminar, I'm leaving. 405 kilos. Yeah, great job. That was good. Yeah, just in the beginning, your stance was a little was a little wide, mm -hmm. and it looked a little better and looked a little bit more snappy off the bottom with the heavier weight. Sometimes when I give you guys advice, I might show you something, and you might go back and try to incorporate it into your like day to day workouts, and it might it might feel like shit at first because it's a new position, so it, it might take some time, but the reward in the long run will pay off. Or you might have to take what I said and what you're able to do and kind of melt them together. Yeah, yeah, tickle the armpits, yeah. The old tickling the armpit trick. Good, one more. Let's see if you can just get maybe a little lower, so you can get maybe a little bit more leg in there. Break my fingers. There you go. There you go. That looks that looks strong right there. That looks great. Go ahead and try it one more time. Give yourself a second. Get in that position and see if you can kind of launch yourself out of it a little quicker. Yeah. Good. What will most likely happen as you go up in weight, your hips will probably always shoot up because of how tall you are. Yeah. And I'm, I'm all leg. Yeah, and you probably have a pretty strong lower back, so your oh, body's gonna wanna rely on the lower back. <clears throat> and so that'll probably always happen to you, but if, think about it this way. If you start off in a better position, you'll end up in a better position. So you still wanna start, try to get as low as you, as you can get, and it might shift into something kinda ugly, but you'll still be in a better position uh, if you didn't try to get that low, you know what I mean? Yep. Good. Yep. Passing the test. Right there. 
Nothing to change. I can leave the, I can leave right now as long as it does not call the time. Here we go. Good. Hips down, chest up. Stay at the bottom. Bring your hips up. No, no. Bring your hips up. Yep. There you go. And now duck down, get tight, and pull like hell. Yeah. There you go. Do it again. Hips high, hips low, pull like hell. Do it again, do it again. Hips high, hips down, bam. There you go, good. When your legs are straight, get a lot of air, a lot of air in your stomach. <gasps> Blow a lot of air in your stomach. <clears throat> Make your stomach as tight as you can. Use it as like a launching pad. That first rep and her fifth rep, right Pull like Jeremy Avila. There we go, good. Good. Looking great. Good job. Hell yeah! Question. I'm trying to get myself to, like, I would do kind of like Benny Magnuson, roll, yeah. roll the bar into me. Because um, I feel like I would be able to actually sit down a little bit deeper. Yeah. That's the, great. The, like, super effective, yeah. So, okay, I was kind of wanted to get an opinion. Yeah. Like, I've used it before, and I, I really, uh, I really liked it a lot. I just... I, I was able to adapt to it for a while. Okay. Um, and I just, yeah, I would roll the bar out. Mm -hmm. I would like start to squat down. As the bar started coming closer to me, I squatted down lower, got my back flat, and then pulled. Okay. I know like Shaw uses that, and a lot of the, a lot of the big deadlifters well, use I mean, it. I especially thought like, well, half Thor can get his hips as low as he can, as, and he can solid. Down. Yeah. Even Eddie Hall does it. Eddie Hall's not very tall, but he does, yeah. he does the same technique. So. But like he's able to, but like, I mean, half door can get his hips so far down, it's like, maybe I need to start adapting that a little bit. So I've been trying to do that, but I'm just trying to figure out where the fuck my hips are supposed to sit. Yeah. I think what you were doing was, was reasonable. Okay. Maybe on the next one, try to roll it, and I'll take a look at it. Perfect. Yeah. You can also do, um, with like 225 or so, like in your training, you can do, you can go back and forth between a, uh, regular deadlift and a um, and a stiff leg deadlift like every other rep yeah. and you can kind of like learn where your hips are yeah. and you'll kind of be shocked you'll be like my hips kind of feel like they're almost in the same spot <laughs> and you try to get them lower on one rep and try to get you know leave them higher on the next rep find out there's only like a half inch difference <laughs> yeah yeah it's kind of embarrassing there you go Nice. Looking looking smooth. My turn? I'd love to go. Wow, nice. Woo! Likes relying on that speed. There you go. I've seen this guy before. <laughs> What's up, man? How are you? Good. I didn't want to bother you. So good to see you, man. See you too. I talked to Chris for a little while. Oh, good. Nice. He thought I was from Idaho, but he remembered me. <laughs> yeah, going like hell. Looks pretty good. I think maybe you can maybe do a little bit better job of getting your back flat. Maybe okay. maybe being like um, almost like a little more connected to the bar. Just take like take in like a half second before you start to really pull it. Yeah. I do it all. I mean, I'm yeah, yeah. a worse offender. I'm That's excited. how. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. It's like, you know, when you watch someone set up and they take that just a little extra half uh -huh. second, you're like, how the fuck did they do that? Yeah, yeah. How'd they I have that? Kind of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Good. 
Wow, there's so many different body types. It's so cool. Can I do one? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Got the fans. I gotta hell yeah, hell yeah. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Good. Good. Hips are low. Back's flat. Your chest is up. Perfect. Money. That's great. Uh, can I bug you later? Yeah, for sure. I'm going to grab a hat. It's my birthday today. I really want you to Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Happy birthday. I appreciate it. What's your name? I'm Zach. Zach. Okay, cool. Um, well, you mind getting a, a book for Zach? It's his yeah. birthday, so I'm going to... I'll okay. sign his book for him. But you can get a pen for me, too. Uh, Jackson's hand, get a pen for me. Thanks. This guy going barefoot. Savage. Yeah. Couldn't uh, bring your feet a little closer together. Have your oh. feet be a little closer together. Maybe a little bit more even. There you go. Go ahead and point your toes outward just a little bit. Like point them out just a little bit like that. There you go. Good. Good. Go ahead and give it a shot now. Very good. Okay. Put it down. And just relax for a second. And just wait. You need to try to have your lower back be a little bit flatter. So, um, like this part of your back is kind of is kind of rounded a little bit, and you're bringing your chin up. And just one second. Okay. Just uh, step over the bar and come right here. Come over here. So this is this move right here is called a waiter's bow, and you put the the plate in the crooks of your elbows like this, and then you just kind of go like that. You see the back's really flat? Back's really flat. Even all the way down, back's really flat. You don't want the back to be rounded at all, okay? So try that. Make sure we don't land, land this on your feet. Go ahead and put this in, the, in your elbows like that. Yeah, there you go, you got a hold of it, okay? Good, and then go ahead and bend forward. Good, bend your knees a little bit. Okay, good. Good, now can you feel the sensation of your lower back? Try a couple reps. There we go, that's how, that's how flat we want the lower back when you're deadlifting. Do a few more. Are you feeling that? You feel like you're learning it? Can you feel it in your lower back? One more. Good. Now we're gonna take that information and let's apply it to the deadlift. This right here is good. So we want that lower back to be flat, okay? You can do it. Yep, yeah, you're doing good. There you go, good. Very good. Very good, there you go, good. Good job. And the longer that you uh, demonstrate that control, uh, the better off it'll work out for you in the future. So it's, it's hard because like we all want to lift so heavy and go so crazy on it, but just try to take your time and try to remember to keep that back nice and flat. If you get hurt, you can't lift anything, right? Great job. I got a book that I'm gonna sign right here for this guy, Zach, it's his birthday. Zach, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, CH or K? There you go, buddy, it's for you. Thanks, man, I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Get a picture? Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, you can just hold it this way, it's good. <laughs> How old are you? 26, dude. Damn. I know, get, 
Yeah, getting to be old. Everything's going to start to break down. Dude, it's happening faster than you think. I chipped my tooth this morning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just, eating a, just eating a bagel. Dude, that's all I'm saying. It happens fast. Yeah. Good to meet you, man. Hey, I'll you. sign that hat for you, too, whenever hey, you... I really appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. We have some of the bigger boys about to go, so if you can, on the mic, just... Yell on them. Cool. <laughs> you know what you're doing that thing? Nope. Good pulling, man. Good speed. The other way is to kind of like bend, hinge, and sit on your hamstring. See how that tension? So you have the tension here. So if that's a touching part of your backside, it should be tight. There should be no like 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 slack. And that's why a lot of times people's second rep looks better technically than the first rep because they have all that tension in their body and they're coming out in a great position. Here we go. Come on. Big single here. Get it. Go. Go down. Go. 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 Yeah. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Damn. I moved fast. That was pretty quick. Got these guys, uh, they're loading up a little bit more weight over here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six plates. So it's uh, 6.35. We've got a couple, uh, couple different people that are gonna go up and wait and we'll kind of see what happens. But we've been teaching people the deadlift today, uh, going over form and technique, and um, really, really awesome uh, to work with so many different body types and to see so many different uh, people hit up a deadlift. A good, uh, easy 455-pound uh, pull right there. You see that uh, kid has kind of uh, longer arms, which can make a deadlift a little bit easier. But developing the form and technique that's proper for you still takes a lot of time. And that's why everybody's here, is because a deadlift looks simple, but it's hard as hell. Again, different people have different technique. That guy's really relying a lot on his lower back, but obviously, like, that guy's been lifting for a little while, right? So there's no reason to sit here and be like, ah, you gotta have your back flat. His back is slightly rounded, but it's not rounding any further as he's going. Let's watch this big guy here on the sumo pull. See how at the bottom he's doing a good job of adjusting his lats and making sure that his chest is up. That's a really important piece of the puzzle when you're deadlifting, we don't want to have a lot of space right here, whether we're conventional or whether we're sumo, we don't want a lot of space. We want to pull everything in, get the lats tight. Oh my God. Um, you know, I, I think if you can take away one or two things and apply it into your training, then you're winning. Um, it is hard to take away a lot of things um, and, and to immediately apply them. I think uh, the hardest thing, you, you can't practice with the heaviest amounts of weight. Um, you're not gonna have better running technique, better swimming technique, better technique at anything if the intensity is too high. So people will have to take this information that they're gathering from what's going on today, implement it into their own training, but they have to do so with pretty modest amounts of weight. Uh, 50%, 60%, 70%, 80% is where stuff starts to unravel and come unglued a little bit. Got a big pull going on right here. Sumo deadlift. See how he's opening up the knees, forcing the knees out. Come on! There we go, nice. Test, test. Some athletes, that's kind of the way that I like to pull. I like to pull kind of over the bar and uh, looking downward. It's not that efficient though. So like even for him, that might be the most efficient way for him to pull now. It's always in your best interest to try to get your body a little bit more upright than that. Um, mainly, mainly with a sumo pull. Conventional pull is a little different. You could be over the bar and use your lower back a little bit more. Loading it up. Really awesome today to have uh, Jeremy Avila in here. Uh, 887 pound deadlift done on the platform. 
unbelievable athlete, super duper pooper scooper strong. And then we also, we also have Tiny Tiff, who's a force to be reckoned with over here. Multiple uh, all-time world records. And uh, we also have Sarah in here as well, who's deadlifted, I think, I think 622. Uh, absolutely ridiculous, some of the strength of some of the people in here. And you see these guys are working on their form and technique. All the people on this platform could easily use more weight, but they're trying to learn. And what Encimas and Tiny Tiff are teaching right here is kind of the float technique here. They're letting that bar float a little bit. Another big pull going on over here. We got six plates. Come on now, let's do it now. Come on, good strong pull. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, he wants more. He wants more. Hey! Good job. 585 heavy ass pounds. Again, working on form and technique. It has to be done with weights that are modest, with weights that are moderate. I'd go with a little closer grip right there, big, big guy. Yep, there we go. Good. See how the shoulders are high? That's how you want a sumo deadlift. Over time, he'll be able to refine that and make that better. Really, like, the people that are really good at sumo deadlifts, all they really do is they just concentrate on, like, pushing the floor away from themselves, or they concentrate on, like, just forcing their knees and shoving their feet out real hard, and the weights magically come off the ground. Another big pull over here. Let's go, son. What do you say now? Yeah, yeah buddy. Ain't nothing but a peanut. Come on now, let's go. Back flat, here we go. Pull, 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 pull. Oh, he's gonna do a couple. Yeah. Damn. Great job. Cool thing about powerlifting is everyone gets, starts getting fired up when the intensity goes up. So it is exciting to see more weight go on the bar. Um, it's nice to see someone do you know, four plates versus three plates and stuff like that. But really, when it's just someone's max, some of the best lifts here that have ever, ever happened at super training, sometimes it's someone like lifting 225 or 275 because the effort that goes into it and what's involved in it is still a big PR for that person. There you go. Nice. Good job. That was smart to abandon that lift. He started getting rounded over too much. Look at that belt. I'm more impressed with the belt. Jump change. I'm more impressed with the belt, I gotta be honest. <laughs> that is an amazing looking belt. Seven plates, easy weight. Yep. Come on. 675 pounds. 675 pounds. Here we go. 545. Easy, let's go. Let's go, Iron Soul. Come on now. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Good work, buddy. Getting old. <laughs> hey, it's still looking good, man. I can do more. I can get more. All right, everybody. We have uh, one more going on, two more lifts going on, and then we're going to start our Q&A. All right, this is the last lift of the day. He's trying to tell you you're done. Off the team. Well, so the way I figure is since I always pop the legs and yeah. if I could get it to float, I'm not going to set it back down. Yeah. So I can get the hips in it float, Shoot. I should be able to get my legs. Yeah, work on some of those pauses. It might help a lot. Yeah, I'm going to do it. They suck, though. I mean, they're hard. I almost think you almost prefer them now, though, right? I like them a lot because I think, like, I can't, I'm not losing position. I yeah. All right, um, I got my boy in SEMA over here uh, teaching some people how to float the weight. Uh, let's just uh, demo that real quick and we'll sign off after that. 
we have uh, Tom hit up a sumo deadlift. Seema, uh, walk us through some of this. Okay. So one thing. Will they be able to hear him? Uh, talk loud into my talk yeah. loud into the mic. Okay. <laughs> All right, last deadlift here. Let's get a little so, loud. Let's go, what bud. What tends to happen <laughs> is that a lot of people will lose their deadlift position when they're deadlifting, um, and like they'll tip forward. Come on, oh, big whip. Chest. Yep. Big ass weight. Here we, Here we go. go. Yeah, there you go. Good. Again, come, come on. on. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> ah, nice work. How's your face feel right, after that? Let's go grab our chairs and come on back for Q&A. Right, grab your chairs uh, and your stuff. Let's continue our come floating on deadlift uh, move here. A lot of people tend to like lose position by tipping forward when they deadlift, and the pause deadlift super cool because if you can like work this at 50 percent, right? You can focus on coming up a little bit and like an inch off the ground, holding that position, and then finishing your deadlift. And then when you start working with heavier loads, when the bar hits the ground or leaves the ground, you don't lose your position by tipping forward. All right, here's gonna demo. So he's gonna basically kind of pause the weight, but it's not just a pause. You're really trying to get so tight that the weight kind of floats off the ground, forcing the knees out and getting in a good, strong position. You see how the weight's floated? He's going to do it again. How far off the ground we want to get? Just as low as we can get, basically? If you're trying to like help get better at not losing position, then once you break the ground. If you're trying to work on lockout, then at your knee. I got you. So there you go. Yeah. yeah. So once you break the ground, hold that position for like two seconds. And drive through. Good. The reason why the reason why this came up and the reason why we're working on this is, you know, for, for, first of all, uh, Ed Cohn pointed some of this stuff out to us a while back, and a lot of the people here at Super Training Gym have utilized it to gain a lot of strength and make a lot of leaps and bounds in their deadlift. Uh, but on top of that, our boy Tom here recently uh, did a 500, 505. Yeah. 505 pound deadlift and uh, he's trying to do 550 he's trying to do 600 he's trying to keep going right and something that's happening to him is that his knees are straightening out early in the deadlift and then the bars kind of end up out in front of him a little bit and then he's got to use his lower back and we want to make that lift as efficient as possible and so trying some of these floating deadlifts as I like to call them uh, could be really beneficial to you where do you mix them in go ahead and throw them in on your heavier training day Maybe back the weight off about 10% just to get a good feel for it. Give it a shot. Strength is never weakness. Weakness is never strength. Catch you all later. Oh, hey now. Hey now.